Okay, second time. Sorry about that. It, um, this is the um, Finance Committee meeting of February 27th. Um, from the committee, we have uh, me, Ms. Olofsson, and um, Mr. Strobel. Um, in attendance, we also have Mr. Um, Dr. Cooper, uh, Mr. Hurley, Ms. Haynes. Um, short, short list of things. So let's start out with the uh, transition house lease with the BCIU. Okay, the transition house lease, just to give you the past, it was not updated since 2015. Right. They have been paying a thousand dollars a month and the utilities. Now this is there's been a lot of repairs lately on the building. It's become right. more expensive to maintain it. This, that, and that. So I went through and I did a complete research on what it takes to lease a piece of property because it's a house. So I went through everything and researched, and the going rate is about hundred and six, hundred and six dollars or something like that a square foot, whatever it is, hundred and sixty. I brought it down. So what I did was I brought it back because we're a school district. I'm not killing anybody, but I'd like to cover our costs. But in doing that. The amount of money that they would charge will go from a thousand to two thousand one hundred twenty-five dollars a month. Okay. Now I sent all that information over to them. I also added in a, they they would keep paying all the utilities because they use the whole building, and then I added in that. Um, the and they are currently paying all the utilities. They're currently doing. Okay. That. What I added was the grants and the snow removal. Oh. Okay. I told them I did not put that into the lease payment because of, it's a variable thing. I wouldn't want to set you and say you have to pay this because some days, some seasons, we won't get any snow. Right. And some seasons we will. So it's about 5000 a piece. 5000 to maintain the grounds and then 5000 annually for snow removal, possibly if we have snow. Would, um, and that's, that was the proposal you went to them with? Yes. I went for everything. Yeah, no, I understand. I everything to them and let them decide, and they haven't gotten back to me yet. And when did you pr present so that to them? Last week. I was oh, okay. Research, so up from one thousand, up from one thousand a month to twenty one hundred, and then an additional flat fee, five thousand grounds for summer. Not a flat fee. Oh, okay. I'm billing them what we get. Them. Okay, but you you told them that so the average of the last couple of years yeah, have been five thousand for both. Yeah. Okay. So and then we'll just see where we go. And the current and the current lease. We'd have to do it sixty days prior to the end, which is six thirty. Of the so year. We would have to do it. We would on May first. We would have to let them notify them. Let them know that we're looking to renegotiate. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so we would have to have something on the table before May. Are we going to have? Um, are we going to have our, our lawyers poke them if they don't respond within a certain amount of time? Or? BCIU, I'm sure. Oh, they, they will. Okay. But I'll follow us. If there's a couple of people I can. I okay. Can... What? Who's um, The BCIU. So that is a significant increase, but. Um, you, you, but you gave them, but you gave them the backup reasons of, of, of everything that, that, that we're spending to keep it running. I yeah. We have maintenance. I have to be able to cover maintenance. There's been a lot of maintenance and there's a huge plumbing issue. There's things that are coming. And didn't we, we pay for a significant amount mm -hmm. of the, um, of the work that was done to the paving? Yeah. We did all that. And we did all of that, and we made and we improved the ramp at the back to make it ADA compliant. When we did that, right? So we did all of those things. Yeah. Okay. So okay, I think it's fair, and let's see what they say. Because I think it's really it's reasonable compared to how many square footage they make. Does we that make sense? Okay. Thank you. I want to know what we do with all the money for the snow removal that we didn't have to spend. <laughs> Probably spent it on lantern fly um, uh, mitigation. <laughs> um, all right, um, moving on to um, expense statement function move. Okay, so this was my next step in what I was going to do while we're here because when you do your expense statements, we currently use Skyward. Right. All right. I brought Skyward in because we had to destroy the other program that we had because everything was behind and gone. Mm -hmm. To fix it, that's what we did. And I knew that program, so it was very easy for me to move forward and get everything. Done. Okay. But what we've done is we've outsourced a lot of stuff. I saw outsources payroll. Mm -hmm. So there's an entire side to Skyward we don't use it. There's the HR payroll function, and then there's the financial software. 
my recommendation to the next person coming in would be look and see what kind of financial program you have because I think there's a cost savings there where Skyward will not split out and only charges for either side. There are other programs that you can just get a financial software. Have so you have you um, I haven't looked tried to stop okay because the new person coming in has their own baby. You know what yeah. I mean? They have certain programs they like working with. Maybe they like CSIU, the new web version. There's other things that they can do. Outsourcing payroll is the best thing and I would recommend never take it to the, do that where it is. The, but the reason I'm saying the expense statements in the ISOL is because the only piece in the HR section that we're currently using is the expense statements because it's on the HR side. So, Which means that a new employee comes in and they have to be entered into ISOL, but then we have to turn around and enter them into the HR side of Skyward in order to put them on the whole organizational chart in order for them to have access to employee access. And let me ask, um, are, is what you're recommending is to keep everything but the to, to purchase um, when we renew with Skyward to per, to purchase everything from but Skyward except for the HR piece, well, and I mean th that's what I'm asking. You can get rid of Skyward at any time. I, of course, someone coming in is yeah. going to have to be given a year to actually figure it out. But bring another because Skyward refuses to split the two. I see. Okay. So, All right. So so you're just kind of put you're just floating the idea. You're floating the idea to us that we might have to be starting to think about that yeah, I have in the to future. Think about financial software, but I need to stop the double work. The double yeah, work I understand. Is taking a lot of time to take that employee, and then you got to put it in here. Now, their recommended call. Rec okay, I saw this a unique thing because mm -hmm. where there's people that come in, like when the teachers are out all summer, the ones that take payment, I don't terminate them, but I inactivate them. Right. So we don't get charged for those in payroll over the summer. Active over the summer, rightfully so. Same concept. You mean for the folks that take a lump sum? Yeah, I got gotcha. And all the aides that don't get paid, we inactivate sure. all of those employees, so we only have only what we're paying. Mm -hmm. It's the same concept with this expense thing. Now, if we count up all employees, it'd probably be about two hundred forty dollars a month for us to do expense, expense, which you know isn't a lot of money for the annual basis. It's like seventy cents. An employee, um, per but it's money you don't have to spend. Yeah. Yeah, but mm -hmm. that money right there, I won't spend. I'll only do it for people that actually do expensive. Stuff. Right. Right. So okay. it's not going to cost two hundred and forty dollars a month. It's actually a very minimal cost for the savings of time for the employees for what we're doing now. And you're understand, so I would technically prefer to do it this staff. way, and so, this will clean the system prior to the new person coming. So the new person only has to evaluate the financial package. So um, iSolved is being used now? For our payroll. That's where we outsource our payroll. Right. OK. And so you need no action from us at the moment. I'm going to need the OK to go ahead. With what? Moving the expense statement into iSolved. Yeah. And that, but, but, but it doesn't involve any additional outlay of money from us right now? Only on a monthly basis, <coughs> max maybe two hundred dollars a month, but less because we don't have that many people. Doing Do we have to sign a new contract with iSolved? They're going to put one together, and then I'll. Have All right. To and so I think we should. I think we should give the go ahead to get that ready, get that put together. It's an it's yeah. An amendment to the current, the current contract. contract. Where I'm just going to piece this together and get it done before mm -hmm. I go. All right. Yeah, and that's fine. Um, with the um, financial statement, is that your hand putting that in then, or is it electronically moving over from Skyward into ISOL? The financial stuff that comes out of ISOL, is that what you're asking? Yeah, we're, we're going with ISOL for just financial. expense statements. For the expense okay. statements. So the financial statement. data will stay in, in Skyward. Skyward, right, because that's your whole accounting data. That's the accounting, yes. The, the, the financial statement, or the expense statement portion of it. Is that electronically transferred to there? It's actually going to come through there. It's actually going to go right through their <coughs> payroll. Through their payroll. Okay, I got it. It's okay. going to be on their check as a non taxable item. It's the expense side, not the building expense side. That's right. still, I got you. And then the journal entry will come through and I book it. So it's an automatic report. You're eliminating <coughs> all that manual data input yep. from yes. one system to the next. And that in itself would probably cover the 200 bucks if you go. Whatever. I agree. Remember, We're 70 to, cents an employee, and I'm telling you, we only have. Maybe 30 to 50 people in that. All right.
I think so too. And, and it um, keeps it clean for the record. Yeah, and like you said, you know, whoever that new person may be, you know, um, I really hope that they don't want a whole brand new system that none of us know. That'll make me sad, but um, but it'll give some flexibility. Yeah. But it's a web basis. Web basis is a good program to e-finance that everybody's doing. I yeah. believe that other school districts locally are using that. Oh, good. It, it works well. Mm -hmm. But that's a decision I don't need. That, I know that's that, that's 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 down the road. That's that's future Daniel Boone making yeah, that decision. No, no, it's all set. They can just oh. transfer it over. Because and that's good. It's been fixed, which is nice and clean. And it's correctly and they coded. Can bring it forward. Yeah. That's true. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Um, so, um, are we thinking maybe there'll be um, a, a contract to review and approve by the end of May, March? Yes. Okay. Probably that, if we okay. have a special voting at the beginning or something. Oh yeah, I don't know if we will, but yeah. There. So either the thirteenth or the twenty seventh. Right. Okay. All good. Um, Monocacy. The what? Yeah, we'll, we'll be, we got one more and then yes. One more. Okay. okay. Um, right. um, mon so Monocacy. Monocacy um, finalization. Our attorneys came forward and said um, that, do you remember the Monocacy? No, you're going to have to give the background. To, I, I know the story. Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, the Cliff Notes cliff background. Notes. It was a you wanna... that needed to be, that the tr Department of Transportation were saying that we needed a sidewalk or we didn't have a sidewalk, that it had to be invested. This has been going on for years. I paid $200 for a loan that we don't need. Over all of these years that we've okay. been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, now they said that the, um, as a part of the, okay, they said we are working with the engineer to finalize the above noted matter. Okay? As a part of the process, we will need 60 year title searches for eight properties. I obtained a fee proposal from a title company certified abstract to do the work. The fees, are outlined below, okay, it says that it's the cost for a full 60-year title search, eight properties, we've got 2,900, then there's gonna be the- um, A 60-year title search on a on a property that's been, that we built in 20? 2008. 2008. Eight, yeah, 2008. Uh, okay, all right. This is, the goal. this is every year we pay a fee. Continue. Okay, we just loan <laughs> through right. this in order to keep it going. All right. All right, so we were talking, and I have the copies, I have no idea how many copies he's going to say. So as a result, I said, how about not to exceed 4,000, and that would be sufficient to get this thing tied up. Okay. Well, HOP stands for? On Highway Occupation. I forget. Oh, man, I had it the other day, too. It's in the land. <laughs> yeah. Uh, me and uh, uh, Scott Matz, if he was here. Is this that highway thing? Yeah. Okay. House of Pancakes. <laughs> All right. So. Highway occupancy permits. Yeah. Okay. All right. And this will and this will be the last thing that this they need. It, and then we can get rid of that loan. We can get rid of all that and tie it up. And I'm here about 2008 again. And I'm good with that. I'm waiting. And um, so that's going to have to be um, uh, another another item on the next on the next voting meeting. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to give him the go ahead, I guess, if you guys give me the permission to go yep. ahead and start moving forward, and then we'll have. Yep. That. Yep. Let's get rid of it. Okay. Um, any questions from the? Yeah, we're good. Public comment. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. I just had one more thing. I knew it would be quick. No, you're good. Um, I use my smoke bar, and the one thing, and it's a great company, and I'm getting our company. You give me a expense statement. No, we don't. But just make sure that if they're connecting ISOC to, you said Skyward? No, they're, they're not. not. Oh, they're not. They're, they're not connected. They okay. give me a journal entry. They write the whole program for me. Okay. And what they do is they spit out exactly what I tell them to spit so out. So is it costing you extra for them to come up with that? Because everything no. is like, it's almost like our contract is like, it's like out of car. Like, well, oh. We're, we're like, fortunate. We're fortunate. Okay. Because the person that does it is it's Uncompass is the name of the company and it's up near Myersville. Uh -huh. We're their second school district. They want school districts. He has given me a fantastic cost structure. I don't have a la carte right now. It doesn't cost me extra for things. 
So I'm good. That's oh, that's good. I mean, yeah, because I've got mine came in better than mine or so. Mine or so, that person actually. That um, does sound like what we're going to have to be watching out for when we renew that contract. Right. Yeah, but 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 yeah, for right now we're not in that yeah, situation. Yeah, we're trying to add something that talks from ISOC our payroll to um, our HR system, and it's like eight hundred dollars, but it's still like eight hundred dollars that we weren't expecting when we yeah, were yeah I know and automate things. Um, thank you. I just no, sorry. Right. We don't even have to pay for extra pay runs. We don't try to make them. Oh, okay. We don't even have to pay for that. And right now they're trying to link PEASERS to the ISOL system, which is, that would be phenomenal. The cost savings, the time savings. Yeah, yeah. and double so entry and avoiding and things like that. Is, yeah. No, I totally get it. I totally, we'll have to talk. Okay. Um, the second question I had is that I've had one or two people contact me and ask that they've applied both on LinkedIn and wherever her position is um, posted and they are not getting contacted regardless of what, no, we don't want you. And the person is very qualified for this position. So I'm just wondering, you know, how are you getting back or is this district getting back to people? Are you doing it or is HR, Mrs. Haynes? Um, yeah, um, Mrs. Haynes um, is not doing the interviewing. So I mean, when if she when we were doing when we were talking about hiring a business manager, she she would have been taking care of it um, because that person would have been working for her. But we're, we're hiring her um, her her yeah her next the next person, so she she won't be doing that, and so it will be handled above. Yeah, yeah. No, that's okay. Um, and um, so, it, as far as I know, we're still we're still working through what we've received. We're, we're still in an ongoing process of gathering applications for that. We have we are beginning the interview process okay. for sure. Okay. okay. Yeah, we haven't interviewed anybody okay. yet. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any, anything else for finance? If not, and uh, we'll we're adjourned. I'll we'll be back in ten minutes for the regular meeting.